Walking in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at 5. Good evening. Good to have you with us here at 5 on this finally Friday evening. I'm Tammy Melchok. And I'm Jim Scott. Thanks for stopping in tonight. Topping our newscast here at 5 o'clock, the Bakersfield Police Department said goodbye to a fallen comrade this morning. A special breed of peace officer who worked his way into the heart of one cop in particular. Django, the police canine killed last month in the line of duty, was remembered today. And 17's Robert Price was there. As any dog owner knows, canines and their people tend to form bonds unlike any humans alone could do. That dynamic is very much at work in the bond between police officers and police canines. But to that relationship, add this dimension. They often literally place their lives in the hands or the paws of each other. And so it was with Officer Brock Mueller and his partner, Django. That unique bond was evident Friday morning when Mueller eulogized his best friend and canine colleague who was killed April 27th doing what he was trained to do, stop an armed fleeing suspect. For the past four years, Django and I have been on so many calls, hunted dangerous suspects, forced criminals to surrender, and have been tested on several occasions. Many of you here today have shared in those moments, and I want to thank you for trusting Django and I to keep you safe. Django died while accompanying Bakersfield police officers, including Mueller, his handler, in the pursuit of a car thief. After crashing into a fence on Highway 58, 20-year-old Dalton James Garrett Coyman, due in court the following week on felony gun charges, took off on foot. When police cornered him, Coyman started shooting. Police returned fire and killed the suspect. But Django, shot three times, was mortally wounded. This is Bakersfield Police Chief Greg Terry. Even though the job is unique and the partnership is unique in terms of the duties and, and what they perform for our community, but the bond is no different. Uh, and when there was a separation and a break in that bond, I think what you saw today was the, the grieving and the loss of that bond. Django became the first police canine killed in the line of duty in the BPD's 123-year history. And he was accorded all appropriate honors at Mechanics Bank Theater, including a procession of squad cars down trucks an avenue, an honor guard, and a bagpipe send-off. <laughs> the memorial was a multi-agency event. Canine handlers from the California Highway Patrol and the Kern County Sheriff's Department were also there to send off Django. Django wasn't just a rank-and-file member of the canine unit, he was a champion, and that's not hyperbole. He placed first in explosive ordnance detection at the 2019 Murrieta Canine Trial and put his bomb-sniffing training to work for the visits of Vice President Mike Pence and, just a few weeks ago, First Lady Jill Biden. So, in addition to the personal loss felt by many, BPD loses a valuable, uniquely skilled member of the team. Police officers have guns and words to bring down suspects. Canine units have nothing but their training and complete loyalty to their handlers. And so it was with Django, who got a job well done send-off from BPD today. At Mechanics Bank Theater, Robert Price, 17 News.